This is 419 to 425. And so again, we come to the end of a little chunk that's in the AP syllabus. After 425, it jumps to 450. And we're here talking about Cerberus. Uh, good old Kerberos here with his three mouths, his three heads. And they've got to get past Kerberos if they want to get into the underworld. So uh, the Kui here, the reference is, is Kerberos, is to Cerberus. And so the seer seeing uh, to whom, uh, in reference to, to Kerberos, the seer, seeing that his cola, his necks, are already horay-ring, are already shuddering, shivering with snakes. We don't get a verb here to ob it. We get the basically what's a giant direct object. And what she's going to do is she's going to throw a cake at him and like present an offam. And this offam, this cake, is described as sleep inducing with honey and with medicated drugs, with medicated uh, grain or fruits. So seeing that he's already kind of uh, up in arms and, and, and rearing up to meet them, she throws a, a cookie, a dog treat at him. And so he, Kerberos, uh, opening up his three throats rabid with hunger, so there's your ablative here, grabs the thing having been thrown at it, and grabbing, grabs the thing having been presented, and, and notice how immediate it takes effect, and his immense backs he loosens, and then further emphasized by Fusus, and having been splayed out, poured out on the ground, huge, he is extended, he is stretched out in the entire cave. So they've taken care of Kerberos, and so Aeneas occupies the entranceway with its guard buried, and so buried in sleep. There's a little bit of a, of a pun there. And quick, or quickly, he uh, passes by the Repom, the riverbank, so um, traverses maybe. And it's the riverbank of the water from which there is no return. The water of the uh, maybe irretraceable water. So if he's going to leave the underworld, he's going to have to leave another way. 